Hi everyone, if you're looking for great, easy to sew skirt options for this fall, look no further. I have three great recommendations and I'm going to share with you those recommendations in this video. Welcome back or welcome to the channel. If you're joining us for the first time, my name is T and this is my YouTube channel, Crumpus Tea and Sewing where I share my sewing makes, sewing pattern tutorials, and even first impression reviews of the latest collection of sewing patterns. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three pattern reviews of new look patterns. All of these variations are beautiful skirt patterns that you can sew for this fall. And I'm going to share with you what I have made with these skirt patterns and how you can achieve the same or similar look throughout this fall season. So let's go ahead and start with the first pattern that I sewed, and that is the new look in 6757. This is a beautiful skirt pattern that also includes a knit top pattern. The knit top pattern includes two pattern pieces, and so it's very easy if you want to sew that. I'm not going to be focusing on the knit top pattern in this video. And so I did sew the skirt out of this pattern and I had a wonderful time sewing the skirt pattern. So the pattern features six pattern pieces and that includes the front, the back, the waistband front, the waistband back, the pocket facing and the pocket. It also features this beautiful slit detail in the front of the garment. The front of the garment is cut twice and the back of the garment is also cut twice. You have an invisible zipper that is placed on the left side of the body. It's such a beautiful pattern that calls for fabrics such as denim, cotton fabrics, any type of bottom weight fabric, even chambray fabrics and more. So starting with the first, the denim skirt. This is a blue denim skirt that I have made with this pattern and it does have some scratch in it. I don't know how much, but it does have scratch in the fabric. And so I wanted to do something a little bit different than what you see on the pattern cover. I made my variation a little bit more fitted. And so I selected, I initially selected the size 16 and I had to grade down because, especially in the waist, because it was too big in the waist. So my finished garment measurement for the waist is about 31 and a half inches, and that's a size 14. And the size 16 for my hips, because I had to grade out, is approximately 41 inches for the hips. Now, my hip measure at about 40 inches, so I only have one inch of room for ease but I was going for a closer silhouette because I was working with a stretch denim fabric. For my second variation, I decided to use a black denim. Now this black denim have a little less stretch in the fabric than the blue denim. And so going into this project, I was not like ready for that. So because I did not calculate the scratch in the black denim. I did have a little bit more of a closer silhouette with that one as well, but it's very similar. Now the modification that I have done with the second variation is a I shortened the skirt by about six inches. Now you'll notice on the blue variation, it goes well past my mid calf. Now, as it's featured on the pattern's cover, it's supposed to be a midi length uh, style. It was not a midi length style on me. And so that blue variation, that stretch denim blue variation is actually the length of the skirt pattern right out of the envelope. I didn't do any adjustments or modifications to the length. Now I am about five feet in height. And so if you are five foot or shorter, you will need to shorten your skirt if you want to get a midi style skirt as it is featured on the cover of the pattern. For the second variation, the black variation, like I uh, told you before, I shortened the skirt pattern. And so I have a little bit of a knee length skirt in this one. And the size selection that I chose was the same size that I chose for the blue variation, which is 
the 14 for the waist and the 16 for the hip. And again, those measurements are 31 and a half inches for my waist and about 41 inches for my hips. Now with the third variation that I made with this beautiful skirt pattern, I decided to go with this beautiful mood exclusive print. It is supposed to be a scratch knit fabric and going into the project, I thought that I would have the same or similar look as my first and second variation. I did have a few complications and problems with this one, being as though I put both the back and the front pattern piece on fold. I did account for the seam allowance when I did that. And so if you decide to do that, make sure that you account for seam allowance. Now, when I put the front and back on fold, I didn't realize that the fabric did not have that much stretch. So I really should have went up to the next size, but I didn't. The waist is okay, but the hip is not all that great. It's a really close fitted style and it's not exactly what I'm going for, but I'm going to hang on to it just in case I lose weight because I am on a weight loss journey. And if I do, then I will be able to fit it eventually. If not, then I will donate that piece. Now with this variation, as I mentioned before, I placed both the front and the back on fold because I didn't want to disrupt the beautiful flowers on the print. I did shorten the skirt and so I have a knee length skirt for this one as well. And that is all the modifications that I have done with that variation. Lastly, I made a, another variation. This is the black and beautiful cream colored floral variation that I made. And this is also with a mood exclusive print. Now, this time I went into the project knowing that the scratch in this fabric was similar to the third variation that I made. And so I decided to go ahead and size the pattern up. So the waist is a size 14 but the hip I went up to, I think about a size, uh, uh, about a 17. So between a 16 and a 18. And so you'll see that with the last variation, I achieved the same or similar look as what you see on the pattern's cover. And that is how it's supposed to be worn. Again, my first variation is something that I actually wanted to achieve. I wanted a close variation because it was with a scratch denim. And so I realized that it is a little bit more fitted. If you want to achieve the same look that is featured on the pattern's cover, I would suggest that you do a mock-up and maybe even go a size up in your hips so that you can achieve that style. Now let's talk about my second pattern review. This pattern review features the new look in 6107. Now, this is a beautiful pencil skirt. It comes in sizes 10 to 18, and you get four pattern pieces. You have a kickback pleat as well as a no pleat. So you have two different options there. You could do either a kickback pleat or you can just sew the center back seam all the way down to the edge of the hem. This pattern has a back center zip instead of a side zip and you do have two darts in the front of the garment and two darts in the back of the garment it's just a very simple style pencil skirt style and it's an absolutely gorgeous one now with this one i made three different variations the first variation was kind of like a test variation but even though um, it was with my final fashion fabric it was still kind of a test i kind of knew going into the project that I was going to select a bigger size. And so when I chose that bigger size, I was aware that I would have to possibly grade down. And so the size that I chose initially was a size 18. The pattern does not feature any sizes on the waistband pattern, but you do get sizes listed on the skirt pattern for the hips. For my waist, I selected the size 18 and I had to go down to the size 16. So this is going to be, again, approximately 31 to 31 and a half inches for my waist. And for the hip, I selected the size 16 as well. And that is about a 42 inch to 43 inch for the hip. For the first variation, I decided to make this beautiful floral dreams, cotton sateen, pencil skirt, 
And the Floral Dreams Cotton Sateen is a mood exclusive fabric. It is so gorgeous and it features this beautiful navy blue background with all these beautiful fall colored floral details on the face of the fabric. It's one of my favorite prints that mood sell. So I decided to do the kickback pleat with this variation and that's pretty much it for that. For the second variation, I made it with this beautiful fabric from Mood Exclusive again and it's titled Overflow. Now this fabric is so gorgeous and for this one, instead of doing a kickback pleat, I decided to just leave it. Actually, I think I'm, I'm mixing this up. I think the Floral Dreams Cotton Sateen is the variation that does not have the kickback pleat. And the second variation that I'm talking to you about, which is the name of the fabric is called Overflow, I believe. And that's the variation that has the kickback pleat, I believe. And so those are gorgeous, gorgeous skirt patterns. And I'm so happy to have those in my stash. The third variation that I made with this beautiful skirt pattern is with a beautiful fabric that is also from Mood. And it's called The Passing of Adonis. And it is a cream or an ivory colored background. And you also have beautiful colored floral flowers on the face of the fabric as well. So I didn't do the kickback pleat with this one either. And for all three variations, I went with the same size, which is the size 16 for the waist, which is the 31 to 31 and a half inch for the waist and the size uh, 16 for the hips, which is about 43 inches for the hips. And I just want to quickly mention here also that this pattern also comes with a top pattern. Now I did sew a mock-up of the top pattern and I did not like it. I just felt like it wasn't for me. I couldn't get the size right. And the neck band was just uh, kind of like bunching out. And so it wouldn't lay flat and I just did not like it. And so I decided to not do a final version for the top. I just did the mock-up and I decided I wasn't going to use any of my fashion fabric for the top. So now let's talk about the final garments that I have made with the new look 6106. So this pattern comes in sizes 10 to 22. You get six to eight pattern pieces. It's an A-line skirt and you have many different skirt options, including a short skirt that's kind of like a mini skirt. And then a skirt that also, that mini skirt that you have, you can also put a band on that. And so you could get a little bit longer of a skirt if you add the front and back uh, ba bands at the bottom of the skirt. And then you also have a variation that's like a mini length variation. I was really surprised that they didn't include like a knee length variation because the bandit variation does not go to the knee. And so if you want to have a variation where it's above or slightly above or slightly below the knee, that's something that you will have to create on your own. So you will have to shorten or lengthen the pattern to get that desired look. And that's what I did with both of my variations. So you'll see for my first variation, I made this beautiful floral, floral skirt with another mood fabric. This is a crepe fabric. And so it does have a little bit of scratch. And I was cautious of that when I went into the pattern. I did select a size bigger than what I would normally select because I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to kind of like size the pattern according to my needs. And so for this pattern, I actually went into the project selecting the size 16 and I had to grade down to the size 14 for the waist because again, I was working with a knitted type fabric. So it has just a little bit of stretch, not much, just a little bit of stretch, but it was enough that I needed to go down to the next size. So I selected the size 14 for that. And again, the waist is going to be about a 31 to a 31 and a half or 32 for the waist. They don't have waist measurements listed on this pattern either. For this pattern, I also selected the size 16 for the hips, and that is about 45 inches for the hips. You'll notice with this skirt pattern, it is a fit and flare skirt. So it's an A-line skirt. 
And so you do have the fit at the waist and it flares out at the hips. I love the different pocket details that they have here. They have one featuring just your regular side slanted type pocket and you can put button details on it or you can omit the button details. And again, as I mentioned before, you have the different uh, skirt length options as well with this. I really enjoy sewing each one of them. And I definitely think that you can create a beautiful skirt collection with all three of these patterns. If you are looking for patterns to sew this fall, skirt patterns to sew this fall, these three would be really great. They don't have a really great big size range, but for those of us who can fit in these, this size range, I think it is a really great pad. These are really great patterns, and I think you would have fun sewing them. So if you've sewn these patterns before, let us know what your experience was like in the comment section below. I can't wait to hear from you all, and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.